Gatling Ghoul. One performer power monster plus one level five or higher dark monster. Huh. What monster fits those requirements? <laughs> Disclaimer. This deck is for entertainment purposes only. If you clicked on this video looking for a deck to take into ranked, expecting to climb at a rapid pace, I'm telling you right now, you've come to the wrong place. Although the decklist I'm about to show you isn't bad and I definitely had a positive win rate with it, I'm afraid it's still a Dark Magician list, and taking a Dark Magician list into ranked nowadays is like bringing a stick to a lightsaber duel. If I were to place Dark Magician on a power level scale of 1 to 10, 10 being harpies and 1 being whatever the fuck raccoons are, I'd place Dark Magician at about a negative 69. Nice. So hopefully I got my point across, don't be disappointed if you play this deck and find it's not nearly as strong as the standard deck lists I post on my channel. This video is purely for those Dark Magician enthusiasts looking for a cool new way to spice up your old Dark Magician deck lists, by giving you access to a ghoul in a top hat carrying a fucking Gatling gun. So here's the deck list. Now just before I go through the list, just a reminder that if you're enjoying any of the content you're watching or find any of it useful, to please leave a like on the video down below and consider subscribing to the channel whilst you're down there. I make videos all the time, so if you don't want to miss out on some of the spicy stuff I come up with, such as today's video, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Alright, so it's been a good while since I've uploaded a Dark Magician video, but sadly, it hasn't really gotten any major changes as the core of the deck has just remained basically the same, with no new additional support. The only major difference since the last time is some people have opted to start running Dwarf Star as a pseudo replacement for the Limited Rod, as it also allows you to run the skill Balance, since the effect only activates during the end phase, and Balance only prevents monster effects until the end phase. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was normal summoned this turn, you can add one level 7 light or dark monster from your deck to your hand. So obviously you can use this to search either Dark Magician or Illusion. The other new change to the deck list is obviously the entire purpose of today's video, and that is the new tech of Performer Power Trump Girl. So keep in mind this card is a spellcaster, so it can be summoned alongside your Dark Magician when activating navigation. So this is a pendulum monster but it doesn't have a pendulum effect, so you can just ignore that. All you need to know is that once per turn, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters you control as fusion material, including this card. So when summoned alongside Dark Magician, you can fusion summon into Gatling Ghoul. If this card is fusion summoned, you can inflict 100 damage to your opponent for each card on the field. Then if this card was fusion summoned using a pendulum monster as material, which it always will be, Destroy one monster your opponent controls, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the monster's original attack. As for the rest of the deck list, it's your pretty standard Dark Magician stuff, so I'll wait until the gameplay commentary portion of the video to go through it. Alright guys, that'll be it for the deck list part of the video. The rest of the video will be gameplay with commentary showcasing the list in action. Remember if you're enjoying any of the video or find any of the content useful, to please drop a like on the video down below and consider subscribing to the channel whilst you're down there. Enjoy the gameplay! Alright, let's get into it. So as you can see, this deck list went 6 wins and 4 losses on the ladder, which isn't exactly bad, but like I said during the intro, it definitely isn't something to get too excited about, especially considering this was in Platinum. I know it is the start of the season, so just about everyone is currently in Platinum, but still, it's just nothing, nothing to get too excited about. Dark Magician nowadays just doesn't really keep up with the meta, since the removal of Rod it's just too too bricky. Honestly, the whole purpose of this deck wasn't really to showcase how powerful Dark Magician was, or even showcase my deck list in particular. I just wanted to showcase the Trump Girl interaction with Dark Magician, since when it's summoned with Navigation and Dark Magician, you can get a free Gatling Ghoul, just basically instantly. I just wanted to show how like easily it's summoned in this deck. So if you don't have some cards in this deck, or you don't have Dwarf Star and you want to run the stick and chair variant or some other standard variant of Dark Magician, go right ahead. The whole purpose of this video was just to showcase that you can run Trump Girl in this deck with your navigation to make this card very, very easily. It's one of the best decks for making it. So I just wanted to showcase it. Alright, let's get into the replays. 
I was honestly really surprised at how good the card was too. Because generally, burn damage and dual links isn't that relevant. But when this card does burn damage, it does a lot of burn damage. To the point where if your opponent just has one monster on the field, you summon it out, pop that monster, you then with the 2900 damage it has from just its basic attack, you will just have lethal on your opponent. It's actually pretty good. Alright, so this guy was playing DD using an interesting skill. I'm not sure why you'd use this over the skipping uh, stand, standby phase skill, but anyway. Maybe just hasn't unlocked it yet. So summoning our Dwarf Star, searching Dark Magician during the end phase. Navigation, navigation, and a Book of Moon. Opponent's going to be doing standard D to D things, searching with Gate, activating the Fusion spell. I think he didn't play this correctly, but I don't really... Did he even Normal Summon this turn? Like, he didn't even Normal Summon with Kelper. I, I don't know, this guy, this guy's plays were kind of odd, but... It's Fusion summoning this last. I, I don't know, this guy's plays seemed really odd. Anyway. Tries to swing him, we're gonna Book of Moon him. Not gonna activate our navigation until now because we want to make sure that he doesn't swing into our Trump Girl. So activating during the end phase, summoning our Trump Girl. And missing the one back row whilst we have the navigation and grave. Because navigation will only work whilst Dark Magician's on board, so we want to make sure we're going to use the MST on the back row whilst we can still negate cards. Trump go activate, summon Gatling Ghoul. Gatling Ghoul's effect on the highest attack monster, doing 600 damage already just based on cards on board, then a further, I think it was 1600 damage, whatever it was, just by popping the monster, swing into it, even more damage, and at this point, because he's using the wrong skill, he just, yeah, he just dies to his own burn damage. Yeah, I feel like that guy definitely misplayed there on uh, how he played that duel, but anyway. Maybe he was just terrified of my back row and was trying to get me to use it or something. Either way. Alright, so I think this was Melodious, which Dark Magician is actually surprisingly good into because obviously Melodious is just all anti-destruction and Dark Magician, well with Circle, is all just Banish, so. <clears throat> and luckily, we drew Circle. We also drew, well, searched for Illusion and we have, the spell, have a spell on board, don't we? Oh no, we have a trip, Canadia on board. Which means we get access to two different banishers now. Not during the same turn, but if he summoned two of them, we had two outs. We use Canadia on the fusion monster. Circle then banishing the big maestra. Using Dragon Soul to try to bring back the fusion monster. During this time, we're going to summon Canadia. For some reason, he summoned it in, in defense position rather than attack, despite having the hand trap in hand. Not really sure why, it just means I'm just going to get rid of the hand trap right now. Canadia once again, just don't be out of fusion summon. Also, we're going to make sure that we want to banish this card in particular, because this card is. We know this card has an annoying effect where it will just summon a big Melodius from deck if we kill it. So I'm just going to exceed summon into Malevolent Sin, banish the card, so that way we can do a bit of damage to him without having to worry about summoning a big Melodius. Boost its own attack so it can swing in, summon the big boy, and now he's made the mistake of leaving two slots open on board, meaning we have... yeah. Even some of the Trump girl, if we got to do it, but yeah, he uh, he conceded after that one. All right.
Oh yeah, this guy's this guy was playing some interesting stuff. This guy was playing the god cards and not the uh not the standard god cards. At least he was trying to play Thor. In this case, didn't really matter. So we set our stuff, we passed the turn, he only set some stuff, allowing us to just activate navigation safely, summoning our Trump Girl and our Dark Magician, making Gatling Girl. Destroying his monster, swinging in directly, which would have been exact lethal, by the way. This is what I was talking about, where his burn damage alone can sometimes just mean if your opponent only has one monster, that they will just die from the burn damage plus the battle damage alone. Circle, gonna be searching down Magician, swinging in, and then he summons <laughs> Veil. Vale. Navigation, gonna be popping the monster, and now having access to an Agate on board, as I think I've already used the Navigation. So even though he had a Drowning, we can Agate that shit. And he would normally be dead, but I think this guy had a, uh, Parry Knight in hand as well. <laughs> Making sure that I swung into the car with the Graveyard of Fate, because I uh, didn't read it. Typical Duel Links player. Communicating his powerful rebirth, I meaning he can't summon a monster, and he's just dead on board. Alright, final game. This guy was the sub terror player. Drew the classic three card setup. Easiest draw of my life. And he sets up a pretty nice standard sub terror board. One back row and the two monsters, including the behemoth. We're gonna MST that right away, because we're scared this might be a final battle. It wasn't anyway, but we got rid of it. Alright, so he summons his Nemesis Warrior. Now I know Nemesis Warrior, if we target it, it'll just swap it out for another sub terror So I'm not gonna activate my navigation, summon some Dark Magicians, and try to banish it because that's a waste of time. Instead, I'm going to use Navi uh, Canadia right now. This means he's going to have to activate the effect, or he's not going to be able to activate it for the rest of the turn. So he activates it, sums out Behemoth. Now we have two prime targets to remove. Navigation will be summoning Trump Girl, banishing one, and then we're going to Fusion Summon, Gatling Girl to pop the other doing a significant amount of burn damage, and swing in for lethal. Alright guys, that's it for the gameplays. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Laters. Hey big brother, can I watch Spongebob? Shut up Mokuba, I'm busy flagging YouTube videos to compensate for the fact that I have an extremely small penis. Oh.